Alright everybody, what's going on? Welcome to another video, and I won't be doing face cam this video, because I am a little bit sick at the moment. It's a head cold, none of that. None of that, uh... Anyway, um, so we're going to be doing, going over my fantasy Premier League team for game week number one, and some tips and tricks that I would give. Obviously, wouldn't trust me with all of you thought thoughts, because, you know, I'm not exactly an expert at this, but this is just what I think as well, so... Let's run to the team real quick. Aaron Ramsdale in goal is the starter. Obviously, he will play for Sheffield United. He's the only really Premier League quality number one goalkeeper at the club. William Saliba is a little bit of an interesting one because if he plays, I reckon he'll do well. But with like Arsenal's defensive injuries and then Gabriel maybe not being settled in yet, I think he will. I've gone for Lucas Digne and Doherty who will probably face each other. <coughs> I definitely go with Doherty because he's just a great attacking fullback who get up, get you assists, get you a lot of points. I've also gone with Digne just because he's one of the best fullbacks in the league and he grabbed a good amount of points last season. If I check it, let me check. Information: 120 points last season, 158 the year before. So as you can see, good player. And then Doherty last season, 167. So I would definitely go for that. And then I vice captain Trent Alexander Arnold. Now for me, you have to have one of either. Virgil van Dijk, Trent, and Trent Alexander-Arnold, or Andy Robertson in your back line, but just because they're playing leads, I probably want to go for van Dijk. I'd probably just go for Trent or Andy Robertson, and I've gone for it because leads haven't been in the Premier League for like, what, what is it, 16 years now? It, it will be a tough first game. I think they will put up a fight, but I think Trent or Andy will get, a, get an assist or two as well, so I vice-captain him, think he'll have a good game. Ruben Neves against Sheffield United, obviously this is a little bit of a gamble, because Sheffield United are a well-driven unit, especially with their midfield. But, you know, Ruben Neves can have a magical game, can literally just have a magical game, and also he's pretty cheap alternative for 5.5 million, so he's definitely affordable. Steven Bergwijn obviously played very well when he came for Spurs last season, it was between him and Lucas Moore, I've selected him. Zaha, even though he was inconsistent last season, still managed to pick up 120 points. And so I've gone for him. A little bit of an interesting one here. Kai Havertz, because he is fit to play against Brighton. And I think m most players that have big money signings do impress on their debut for their clubs. So I've gone for him. And then I've Captain Werner. Because Werner has played against this Brighton team. He played against them, what was it, last week or the week before that? And he did score off that Zayas cross to Hudson door, and then he nodded it down, and Verno tapped it in. 28 goals in the Bundesliga last season, he's had time to settle in at the club. So, yeah, I think he'll do well, I've captained him. And then I've got Harry Kane as well, just, just a goal scorer, that's just what he does. Just what he does. And then also, my reserves, uh, Oya Nyland, because he's cheap, 4 million. Doesn't actually even play this week. Uh, Salisu, the new signing for Southampton, he might not play. Redmond can pick can pick you up a solid few points every now and again. And Callum Wilson for Newcastle, we don't know how well he'll do with the support he's going to get. But, so that's my team. But like I said, i definitely go with one of Andy Robertson or Trent Alexander-Arnold in your defense. And then I'd probably pick, for midfielders, I'd probably pick some Chelsea players in here. You know, the likes of maybe Mason Mount get some game time. I, I went for the gamble with Kai Havertz. Obviously, he hasn't had much time to settle in yet. Christian Pulisic is another great one to go for here as well. So those are just some of the great options. And if we go over here, where is it? The scout. These are some of the recommended ones. See, Vona leads the line. Great captain option. Armstrong's out. Pulisic right there, like I said. And then Aubameyang's another great option coming up against a poor Fulham defense. We've seen that... Why am I why am I dog smoking, man? What are you doing? But we've seen that the Fulham defense is very awful at times, and that, that most of that squad that went down t two years ago is the qu squad that came up last season. So you never know, you never know. So Aubameyang would probably be a good shout as well. But this is what is happening, fam. <clears throat> But that is my team for this week. I hope y'all have enjoyed the video. Like I said, I'm not feeling too great at the moment. Again, it's not, it's not the, anyway. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to try to get two videos out tonight, but this is the first one. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Just a little run through, put some tips and tricks in there for you guys as well. And then these are the leagues I am participating in, in case you care, HITC Sports, Thog Dad, Thog Dad. 
this is just between me and my friends in three public leagues as well. I might set up a league for this uh, channel. Let me know if you want me to set up a league for this channel. And um, tomorrow I probably won't upload because it is my birthday tomorrow. So probably won't be uploading on my birthday. I like uploading, but not that much. Um, but anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hope you have enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time. And remember, up the villa.